all right what is going on everyone it is another one piece chapter time uh it's come out a bit early but you know that's good i did get a bit of a spoiler on this chapter uh i was stupid and read one of the spoiler threads that of this chapter on reddit but i only saw one thing i and it's a pretty big thing, I think, but unfortunately, but, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna say it, because I don't want you guys, if you're, like, reading this chapter with me, I don't know if you do that, but in case you are, I'm not gonna say it, so we can, like, see it together, you know? Uh, yeah, if you like these videos, like and subscribe, and, uh, let's go, One Piece, what? Alright, chapter 1078, Escape Limit. Germa 66's uh, An Emotionless Excursion, Volume 33, Formation, Neomads. Oh, new mads with Caesar and Judge? Oh, they're going to go up against uh, Vegapunk, maybe? All right, let's go. Island of the Future Egghead Laboratory. Who is the conversation with? Uncle Kizaru? 2F, Building B. Yeah. CP0's mission was to eliminate the doctor and then wait for Kizaru's arrival. The gover Oh, there's Jinbei and Stussy. Okay. The government's extra prepared, it seems. Yes, they see this as an even more serious matter than Ohara. Damn. Reason one being that the doctor took the forbidden research of Ohara and continued it. Reason two is that Egghead has the combat strength, has the combat strength that Ohara didn't. Yeah, because there's, like, all the seraphims and everything there. <laughs> Those reasons are enough for them to bring unexpected forces into action. Call me if anything comes up. All communication equipment in the Lao phase are destroyed. Alright. Jinbei and Stussy are using, like, the rocket boots to, like, fly through the air. Jinbei got used to them pretty quick, huh? Alright, Fabrio phase factory. Kachak. You heard that, right? Learn from history and think about what the Navy could do here. You don't have time to hesitate. Set set sail! We are escaping the island! And there's all the the island villagers getting, trying, to, uh, trying to escape. They're just running. Set sail! We're escaping the island! Before the Navy gets here, let's do what Sir Sentamaru said! And everyone's just running. I really like the designs of... Uh, of, uh, the villagers. Most of them are, like, really goofy and, like, robotic. But, uh, they're, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Research area, 3F, building C. Usopp! Lilith! Oh, yeah, Usopp and Lilith got turned to stone. You goddamn brat. Undo this petrification. My right side was off guard, but my left side can still move. If you undo this right now, we'll forgive you. Clunk. Clang. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, there's Pythagoras. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm a bit under the weather. Uh, I have a bit of a cough. <laughs> but, uh, ah, damn it. And there's Pythagoras' head just walking around. <laughs> Why are you doing this, S Snake? On whose orders? And the Hancock Seraphine is like stepping down on Pythagoras' head. Pythagoras! Crush! And then a giant explosion. Step. Step. Ah! There's half of Frankie. This is weird. Like, half of Frankie's face is petrified, but he can still, like, emote. Like, his mouth can move. It's kind of weird. Step, step. Ah! Uh, wait! Wait! Hey! Wait up! Uh, 2F. Building A. I hope everyone's okay, okay? There's Robin, Atlas, and Chopper. I've been hearing explosions and screams. I'm sure that the Seraphim are on a rampage. No, that's incomprehensible. If Nami screams, there's someone who will show up to rescue her in a heartbeat. Yeah. Teams that are stuck in a fight. That are that teams that are in a fight are stuck. While we were all while we are all busy fighting, something might happen to Vegapunk. You're right. <laughs> Come to think of it, there's one lab that was once used and is now sealed off. I don't think anyone would have any use for that place, though. Let's check it out. 
Lead the way, Atlas. Sure. All right, I'm guessing they're going to where Shaka was shot at and where Vegapunk currently is, where all the CP, uh, CP agents are. Hmm. <laughs> 3F, Billy Day. Edison, stay with me. Oh. <laughs> okay, Brooks, leave, Brooks' soul is out of his body. Hey, I'll have to go look for Vegapunk. Mm? What, Sanji? To, Sanji just taking it, punch straight to the face from the Jinbei Seraphim. Uh, Jinbei Seraphim like, huh? And it's like, it doesn't face Sanji at all. Do you understand what the power of love means? All right. 4F, building A. Huff, huff. Damn it, those flames on their back. They aren't going away, huh? <laughs> Forget about the flames. The guy with the hog eyes disappeared. Where the hell did he go? Looks like he's changed the order of the killings. He probably wants to deal with the more troublesome ones later. He wants to eliminate the weaklings first. In that case, they may be your friends. Taking them out first could shake the stronger ones. Okay, and Zoro's going after him. Leave it to me. I'll go after him. Zoro! Hey, Usa. <laughs> Hey, Usopp, go with him, please. He gets lost easily talking to Kaku. <laughs> he gets... Go with him, please. He gets lost easily. What a pain in the ass. Wait up, Roman on. Gum, gum. And who are you calling Usopp? Hawk Gatling. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Straw Hat, you idiot. Stop and think. We won't beat it just by throwing out attacks like that. <laughs> this was days before the famous Egghead incident. But this story began three months ago. Huh? <coughs> oh my god! Mary Joyce! <sighs> uh, the Holy Land, Mary Joyce, three months prior. I'm speaking from Egghead Island. I'd like, I have some things I'd like to discuss with the higher-ups. Dr. Vegapunk is investigating the contents of the Void Century. CB5 was dispatched in order to investigate the matter, but no evidence was found. The ship that left Egg had mysteriously disappeared. For further investigation, in an attempt to unravel the mystery, CP7 and CP8 followed. But none returned to the government. Zzz. I'm speaking from Egghead. Please connect me to the higher ups. <laughs> Following the conversation between the five Elder Stars and a certain someone, it had become apparent that the genius scientist betrayed the government shanks no it become apparent that the genius scientist betrayed the government the five elders decided to assassinate dr vegapunk soon thereafter cypherpole age zero received the message and set the received their mission the mission and set sail however the five elders anticipated retaliation from vegapunk one of them decided to set sail with Kizaru as an escort. With, re with, requested, with requested reinforcements from various branches of the Navy, war became looming on the horizon. Okay. We're going to look at some new Navy guys. They look very... One like, has a beard. One guy, guy has like eight chins going down his neck, it looks like. One of them is like, what's her name? Doll? Something like that? <laughs> However, what it unexpectedly appeared was the ship of the Emperor of the Sea, Straw Hat Luffy. With such an unforeseen development, the government steadily grew uneasy. Straw is there? Okay, okay, new. Okay, new. There's Gear 5 Luffy. Ha ha ha! One of the, uh, the, uh, Gorbachev, uh, Five elders? Not again. In any case, the outcome of the incident on the following day would give the entire world an unthinkable shock. <laughs> Katuk. Oh, we're getting to where Shaka was assassinated. Katuk. Katuk. Hey! Was this all you're doing? Katuk. Answer me. Katuk. Gotcha. Why are you? Why are you? Katuk. Katuk. Zzz. Hey, Stella. It's York! Hey, Stella, it's me. I'm going to be a celestial dragon. What do you want about York? You've been to Murray Joyce in the past. Why do you want to be such a scummy human being? Ooh, you are sounding just like Shaka now. But guess what? He's dead. <laughs> it's really confusing, isn't it? With so many Vegapunks around, this world would be better off with only one of us.
so York's the traitor. That's what I got spoiled about. And it's the final thing they show in the chapter. The chapter's over. Her desire has been revealed. <laughs> How did she become not stone, though? Dang. Or she's, she's looking really big. Huh. End of the chapter. We're about to get something huge. Because, oh, the outcome of the incident on the following day would give the entire world an unthinkable shock. Oh, man. Is this the war arc we've been hearing about? This can't be the final arc. Surely, surely this isn't the final arc, right? I know Oda's trying to wrap things up. But, surely this can't be it. Oh, man. Kizaru's on his way. He's not even at the island yet. One of the five elders on his way. Oh, man. I really thought this would be like a Dolphalingo, uh, Dolphamingo Seraphim for some reason. Maybe there's always a chance of that happening still. But, ooh, ooh. I wish I didn't get spoiled on this. I'm so upset that I got spoiled on it. Ah. Uh, she, how is, uh, York gonna become a Celestial Dragon, though? Surely Shaka isn't dead, right? Because Atlas got super messed up. And they fixed her perfectly fine. So could they just fix Shaka? Or maybe it's different because they got... <coughs> because Shaka got actually shot in the head. And York just got, like, beat up a lot. Hmm. This is interesting. This is indeed very interesting. I don't know where to continue this. Um, what do you what do you guys think is gonna happen in the next upcoming chapters? Are there gonna be like more Vegapunk deaths? Is York gonna kill the main Stella, the main Vegapunk? I have no clue. Uh, yeah. Anyways. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you all have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.